Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the 19th episode of Mushoku Tensei Season 2. Last episode, Turning Point 3. So yeah, a big, a big deal here. But a journey. We're, we're going to go on a journey. So it feels like it's been a while, you know. We, we, we Early on in the show, it was all about traveling across the world and trying to get reunited with comrades and back home and stuff like that. But then we settled at the school for a while and that's been... It's been the show for, well, it feels like quite a while. So getting back on the road, back to adventure, that's pretty cool. So I'm, I'm hopefully that could be a good experience, and hopefully we do end up being able to help Rudy's family find the mother and all that. So that would be good. So let's see, uh, jump on in and see how all that goes. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please click the like button to support the channel and, you know, all that good stuff. But let us begin in three, two, one, play. Begarit. Probably. <laughs> but I'm still going. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> Eight months, damn. Each way. <laughs> really need teleportation gates in this show. <laughs> he 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 <laughs> he proclaims. There you go. Yeah, that's more than a year. And that's like, yeah, best case scenario. Oh, there goes my cat. Ugh. Hey, what's up? I'm I'm leaving. <laughs> it's nothing to sneeze at. <laughs> yeah, not not good news. <laughs> but it it is important. You want to come with? Is she looking for something that'll help us on our journey? Okay. That could certainly be useful. Find the tra fast travel spots. <laughs> I lied. Ucho Desert. Yeah, that's a that's a big deal. <laughs> Freaking government man. Always ruining everything. Yeah, definitely, definitely appreciate it. <laughs> she's pretty, she's pretty great. Should give her a head pat or something. Maybe put a baby in her.
And when it, when it comes to Japanese beauties, there's not really a lot of them in this show. So if you want one, that's that's what you get. I really am gonna miss this, miss the school when we leave it though. Like I did get to the point kind of where I was like, you know, how long are we gonna stay here? I want to go do other things, but now that we're actually about to go do other things, like I feel like I'm gonna miss the school. Night time. Family meeting. <laughs> of course, no one already, already knows. <laughs> yeah, it's not quite the same thing. <laughs> No, 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 we, 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 we have a shortcut. <laughs> yeah, I guess that would be a bit of a trigger word for her, understandably. She gets a head back. Does no one get one too? There we go. This man's come so far since the beginning of the show. Oh, is that a thing? <laughs> Is that like, yeah, a bit of a, a flag in this world? Fruitius Jr. Don't do this to the poor child. Actually, now that we think about it, do we ever, do we know what gender the child is yet? I mean, with this world's technology, probably not. But, uh, I don't know, is there like a magical spell? I was about to say, we're just gonna. <laughs> I was about to say, are we just gonna do this in front of the kids? <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> that was a great little squeal. <laughs> I'm tempted, tempted to make that shot my thumbnail. <laughs> Forgot about that thing. Leave it to me. <laughs> oh.
<laughs> That's still one of the more unexpected parts of this show right there. But uh, I'm here for it. Are you sure? Are you sure we can't bring them with us? <laughs> Feels like we just got them back. <laughs> I keep mentioning that. I, I hope it's true. I don't want Rudy to miss it. I should, the only one waving. Uh, am I crazy perspective? I, but that the horse looks so much bigger than the other one. It's probably just perspective of the shots, but just there's these two different shots where I thought as much. How much time do we have left? Okay, actually, more than I thought. The real question is, you know, in in uh, in a meta sense, how long is it going to take to get there? You know, like episode lengthwise. Because <laughs> you know, shows like Game of Thrones at a certain point got really lazy as far as time travel goes. <laughs> Little fingers zipping around the world like it's nothing. A little bit of wind blowing always makes this sort of thing a lot cooler. <laughs> Ooh, I think it worked, yeah. <laughs> I was pretty much thinking the exact same thing. This is the most runes looking runes I've ever seen. I swear this looks like a video game location. Like, this is where next dungeon will be located. I would say so. Definitely want to check before you activate it, though. Before you step in it. <laughs> Goes both ways. Did we have to phrase it that way? Sounds, that sounds good. A lot of people have. Don't don't worry about it. <laughs> hand holding, hand holding. Don't show Cliff this. Where does this pop out though? That's a real question. It looks like we're. Looks similar to where we started, but I mean, <laughs> I'm getting kind of nervous about this. Like, what if we do get? St I guess it wouldn't be the end of the world if she got stuck on the other side, but that also mean that we would have to find another way back, which would be a problem. It's like a video game has got to check all the drawers and stuff for loot. Oh, is she back? Okay. Worst case scenario avoided. So there is a bit of a... Yeah. I was going to say delay. That's a better word. Huh. 
Like, it feels instantaneous to you when you do it, but... Yeah, I mean, the title was Desert Journey, so... Yeah, there, there you go. Hopefully you brought water, like a decent amount of it. I mean, I know we can make water with magic, but still. Just like... <sighs> Good idea, actually. Now I feel hot just looking at that. Okay, we do have some water. Oof. Do I even want to ask how hot it is there? Not that I would understand if they told me because they would say it in Celsius. <clears throat> uh, yeah. uh, Rudy, what you, what you doing there, man? You have a wife, remember? Like, I know that's tempting, but... That's that is a good point, you know. Need some kind of relief. Oh, speaking of, uh, <laughs> hello. Uh, is that is that a mirage? Just how down bad is he? It's like he does wither and it turns out to be a cactus. Oh, I was about to do that, that, that but. Oh, oh, never mind. You, you, you actually saved me there. <laughs> why, why would a succubus be out in the middle of the desert? Ooh. A lot just happened in the last 30 seconds. <laughs> sling, sling it off. That was... Did he, uh... Did he get influenced by the succubus? <laughs> Oh. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> like, my bad. Skip <laughs> <laughs> it, you, yeah. Of course, she has mocks and for. <laughs> I think I saw a manga panel or something on Twitter earlier today with that same exact line <laughs> but yeah now I know the context of it <laughs> Just chowing down. Looks like we're enjoying our journey so far. For the most part. Probably shouldn't... I was gonna say I probably shouldn't separate, but... I guess some things she wanted to be supposed to be alone for. Well, the alone. As as long as you can be. Uh, I see rocks. Uh, is that we? Is that what we were talking about? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna climb. <laughs> I just heard that before. <laughs> Ooh, Griffin. Is that better or worse than a succubus attack? 
either way, we got this. Well, we we slightly less have this now, but we still got this. Really, it's like an RPG. You just travel the world and random mobs attack. Pew. Oof. <laughs> yeah, he is dead. <laughs> How you hanging in there, El Eline, Ellen Elise, whatever your name is? Uh, yeah, that. Ellen Elise. Oof. Right in the foot. Definitely useful to keep him in one spot for Rudy as his attack, so great teamwork, guys. <laughs> Nice and roasted. <laughs> God, you're really making me really miss Zenith. It's been so long since we've seen her. <laughs> Sounds about right. Knowing him, Paul is just probably better not to ask. Understandable. Oh, have we? Uh, well, the episode's almost over, so... Oh yeah, I think we see that giant skeleton... over... overlay? Uh, whatever, whatever you want to call that. Uh, in the opening. So... Probably an important place, yeah. Uh, Zenith. I miss you too, Roxy. If I wasn't so poor, I would have bought your figure a while ago. And Eris. Then it's like, make him kiss. <sighs> this shot always just stabs right through my heart. <laughs> What's next episode's title? Into the Labyrinth. Alright. That uh, that was the 19th episode of the second season of Mushoku Tensei. Yeah, this episode, the journey has begun. We kind of said our goodbyes and Elena Lise decided to, to come with us, you know. Cliff is pretty cool to allow Rudy to go on this lengthy journey with his girlfriend. So, you know, it's a good thing Cliff is cool like that. So... But yeah, all, all jokes aside, Cliff is a pretty awesome dude. Like, really, really respectable. I didn't really know what to make of him when he, when he first showed up in the show, but, you know, you, you, you can't knock the guy. That's for sure. Shizuka, luckily, was able to kind of help us out getting us hooked up with uh, some, some teleportation stuff. And just a funny thing to think about is just how slow travel is. Because you don't really realize just how spoiled you are with the modern technology. Like, if I wanted to go on the other side of the world, I could do it in, like, 
less than a day, I, I think, you know, like on, on an airplane, <laughs> if I wanted to. But the, for, for, for the vast, the vast majority of the history of the planet, that was not possible. If you wanted to go, you know, like in America, if you wanted to go from one side of it to the other, you were talking like a a very, very long journey, right? So like, even though it feels weird to me that a long, a long trip would actually take a long time, that should be the norm, and it definitely is the norm here. So it's just one of those things that's kind of feels weird, even though it shouldn't. But luckily, teleportation can make it a little bit easier, because that's one technology we still can't do. Tele teleportation would be cool, but no, it's still, still beyond the realm of human, real human technology. But one day, I think one day, one day we'll figure it out. We got, you know, little devices that allow us to communicate all across the world. We, we can do teleportation. Just just give it, you know, maybe a couple hundred more years. But like I said, we said our goodbyes, making sure everything's take, taken care of. Everyone knows the situation and, <laughs> and no one and I should just stare in as they kiss, you know. But yeah, pretty much just the two of them, you know, Ellen, Elisa and, and Rudy on the road again. Because <laughs> they came here together, remember? <laughs> like... And that, that's, and that was pretty much all the first half. I don't think I have much to say about the second half. It was pretty much just very RPG kind of thing. You know, we go on a journey. We attack mobs here and there. We find locations we need to find, you know. But it was great to see. I don't think I have too much to say about it, though. Like, I do th I do think they, they have pretty good chemistry with each other for the most part. And, of course, if the, the fact that Rudy is Paul's child who also... You know, knows Ellie and Elisa, that adds an extra layer to things as well. So, and they, they did bring that up in the episode. So I do kind of wonder, because eventually she's going to meet up with Paul, right? I, I'm curious exactly how that's going to go. If we'll end up learning anything interesting from that. But, freaking succubus trying to tempt poor Rudy. Luckily, Ellie and Elisa here was, uh, was here to help. But. Yeah, the Griffins, they, they weren't too bad. The fact that there were two of them made it more difficult, but not, not that we can't handle. But seriously, uh, Ellie and Elisa reminiscing about Zenith really didn't make me miss her a lot. Like, it's been so, so long. Like, I just want to reunite with her. I want her to give Rudy a big hug, a big hug and comment about how big, he's, how big he's gotten. I want Rudy to tell her about, you know, the journey he's had, the life he's led up until now. I, I want all that. But... Oh, hopefully we can get that. But yeah, I think that's all I really had to say on the episode. So yeah, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.